in today's video i will show you how to do augmented uh, reality in react native by loading 3d model from network or from a server so if you have multiple 3d models copy pasting it inside your project is a bad practice and it will increase your app size and 3d models are not lightweight they are uh, you know large in size uh, so for this video is only for ios uh, because i don't have an android phone uh, which supports augmented reality and if you want to see an android tutorial in future all i'm asking is all i'm asking you is to subscribe to my youtube channel so my uh, youtube uh, channel will might get monetized so i'm uh, looking forward to getting at least thousand subscribers as well as completing four thousand uh, watch hours uh, which i don't have currently so yeah just a request to you guys uh, so first of all just create a react native project and i will be using new architecture in this uh, so just create a react native project next we have to enable the new architecture so we, we will run this command uh, and then after that from your ios directory run this command and after that run yarn ios and if it says fabric colon true which means the new architecture has been enabled for your react native uh, app fabric colon true inside your metro bundler should be visible next we will go to fabric native components and it asks us to create this folder so i have created this folder rtn my air and inside that i have created this js folder and i have created a typescript file i have copy pasted it from documentation uh, only thing change is this uh, file name over here okay uh, next we have to create package.json again copy pasted it from documentation only thing change is this file name this file name and this file name okay next i have created a pod spec file again copy pasted it from documentation and this name has been changed over here okay we will skip android for now next we have to add do this so uh, i have written this command so you go to your terminal and run this command so, okay next we have to run this so before that you have to do cd dot dot and after that you have to run this command uh, so this will be your project name this will be your project name this will be a project name fol followed by the folder name which you have created okay next what you have to do okay then before creating this files uh, cd to your ios directory in terminal and run this command so what it will do is that it will create a pod for your rt and my air folder next open xcode open the main ios folder in xcode and you have to create this uh, header file again i have copy pasted this from documentation only thing change is this file name over here next we have to create this uh, first create this file rt and my air manager again copied it from documentation only thing change is this file name over here so i will show you where exactly it is in documentation so you can see over here it is in documentation as well as this header file next we have to create our main file so i will go over here and i will create this file also make sure the uh, extension is dot mm and not just dot m otherwise you will get lot of errors just create this file for now next create this my ar uh, swift file once you uh, create a swift file xcode will ask do you want to create a bridging header click yes and here you can see the bridging header name is my app next here uh, is the main content so really ticket can only be used with swift as far as i know uh, import this dependencies uh, then uh, we will uh, create this ar view which is boilerplate code next we add it to our view this is ns layout code and here this is the main thing here you have to pass the url so i have not uh, shown you guys the entire url because i don't want to make it public but you can upload your s3 uh, your 3d model on uh, amazon s3 or on firebase storage so what any way anything is fine or your own server make sure the 3d model is in usdz format because that is the format which is recommended by apple uh, next we are taking the file manager we are creating a url session for downloading the 3d model and the http request type is get here we are downloading uh, the content once it is downloaded we are checking whether the file manager contains this file or not if it already contains then remove it and move this item from the temporary location to our destination location and this is the code for loading the 3d model uh, by using combine 
and we are giving translation rotation scale property to it another important thing to note is that uh, go to info add this camera permission as well because augmented reality requires camera and go to my app and make sure uh, your deployment target is at least 14 at least it should be at least 13 but i have made it as 14 and here you can go and make it as 14 as well okay next uh, you have to come back to this file again i have copy pasted this from documentation only thing so this is the file only thing change is this file name over here over here over here over here over here and here you have to add uh, your bridging header file name so mine is my app over here you can see my app uh, my app uh, dash swift dot h will be common for everyone this should be your bridging header file name and you have to comment out this and write instead write this because we are writing this code inside the main ios folder and we have not created an ios folder inside the rt and my air folder that's why next i have replaced the file name over here over here I have taken a UI view and this is uh, creating a variable of our Swift file. This is copied from documentation. Here we are initializing our UI view and making sure we give it a width and height. Uh, then we are creating object of our Swift file and adding it to our view. And again this has been copied from documentation only the file name has been changed. Okay now to use it you can just import it like this and here you can uh, use it like this so yeah uh, yeah i will show you an output as well uh, for this so here you can see i'm downloading it from uh, the server and the downloading might take a while depending on how big your 3d model is and how good your network is so just hold on uh, have a little bit of patience and here you can see i can translate rotate and zoom in zoom out our 3d model so yeah thank you for watching bye